Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in continuation with uh, last video, uh, in this session I would like to demonstrate how to do data transformation. So you mean to uh, no, load the data, get the data. So once the data is retrieved, you need to transform or you need to mount the data in your way. So how to get the data? In order to get the data, so you need to click on here, get data and you can load the data from 100 plus data sources. So we have various categories of uh, data sources. You can see uh, uh, here Excel workbook is there, data flow, SQL server, text or CSV type. Uh, if, you, if you click on more, then you can get uh, different types of data sources here. All means all categories of data sources here. Uh, the file, file related and database related Microsoft Fabric, Azure as well, online services as well. So I just want to cancel this and then just get the data. So my uh, data file is Excel work. You can click on this. Even you have a button, uh, no, uh, button here, Excel workbook. So click on Excel workbook. And here uh, I have three sources. Uh, this YouTube, so from the YouTube folder, I'm loading uh, budget and forecast. So click on that. So when you click on that, it will show you the sources. So here there is a, a single sheet, budget and forecast. When you click on that, when you click on, click on that, here you have these uh, options: load data, transform, cancel. So I just want to load the data. So once all the necessary data is loaded, then I can go for tra data transformation. So click load data. Then the data is loaded. See, there are pending steps, so it is applying in applying the steps in the background, and you see new table has been created here, budget and forecast. And next, uh, I want to um, so get additional data. So the main objective of uh, the case study I'm presenting is. Uh, you need to find out. You need to track PTO means paid time off for people. So there is a data file, a uh, people and tasks, right? So I need to select, uh, there are two sheets, people and tasks, then I need to click on them, then select. So again, click on Excel workbook here, then this one, people and tasks, click on open. That will, it will show you the no, navigator. Here, I want to load both the sheets, then select both. So when you select this uh, seat, you can see the sample data. So next select task, then click on load. Then data is loaded and it will create uh, queries for us. You can see them in data section. So this is going to create tables and you can see them in the data section. Two new tables are created, people and task. Next, uh, I want to load uh, one more file uh, in which we have uh, hours, actual hours, which the employees are working. And um, there is a goal actually, uh, we need to utilize the employees to 80%. So that is the goal of the case study. So I need to load the data. So again, get data or you can select this Excel workbook, then select hours, then click on open. Here there are three months, so I just want to select only one, January. Later on, you know, after data transformation, then if I change the data source to other months, then the op I can also load the data of other months. So I just selected January, then click on load data then it will create a new table, January. Yep, you can see them. So my old table is calendar and then I have created uh, four more tables, budget and forecast and January, people and tasks. So once the data is loaded, we can go for data transformation. We can go for data transformation. 
So in order to go to the data transformation, you have to jump to uh, the separate window and that window is known with Power Query Editor. So you can launch Power Query Editor from home tab of the ribbon, then you need to ch choose uh, Transform Data, then you can get the Query section. So I'm showing that. So home, here you have Transform Data, then you need to select Transform Data, then it opens a separate window and this window is called as Power Query Editor and it shows all the loaded data. So we have loaded data from three files um, and we have created four tables importantly. Calendar table has been created by writing uh, DAX formulas. So you can see the queries for on the left hand side budget and forecast, people, task and January. So you need to transform the data. So if you look at the first table uh, row number 9 so it is just having null so this row is not important so we have to remove this and look at uh, line numbers 18 and 19 so which are also not required so we need to ro remove three rows from budget and forecast so how to do that so in order to do that what you need to do is so select the budget and forecast on the left hand side and you can see the blank rows right so in order to get this so in order to remove this what we need to do is so ensure that um, you selected the last step here you see in the applied steps so these are the default steps source means what is the source of your data when you click on this it will show you the path from where you have loaded the data and even after uh, now after loading this uh, data it will show you the navigation navigation means which sheet is selected right and uh, power bi automatically promotes uh, column names so change step is also applied you see data type has been changed now here you must be selected the change type and after that and after that what you need to do is uh, from the ribbon select home tab and then there are there is a button remove rows and we want to remove bottom two rows so there are remove rows so where is that actually mm. it's difficult to remember all the you know, uh, scenarios uh, means all the things so if you know multiple technologies so from the home tab itself you can find uh, remove rows click on home and then here you have remove rows remove columns are there so I select remove rows and here you have the options like remove top rows remove bottom rows alternate to duplicates blank remove errors so for us the suitable one is remove bottom rows and then you need to specify the number of bottom rows to be removed so I'm specifying two. Then last two rows, row number 18 and 19 are removed. So they are removed and new step has been added. Remove bottom rows. So that is done. And then how to remove this uh, ro line number or row number nine. So in order to remove that, what you need to do is, uh, you need to select uh, the column location and you need to check uncheck the button next to null so here right just click over here and then you can see there is a null means it also includes uh, null values so uncheck it and then click on ok then the row has been removed that means we here we have filtered data filter rows so location value should not be null so the data has been cleaned understand this data has been clean so no issues with the budget and forecast then we can go with other tables and um, sometimes it is also required to unpivot the uh, columns understand unpivot the columns so here if you select uh, you have separate columns January February March April and up to uh, December so what we do is we just combine all these uh, columns into sing single column that is called as unpivoting so you, you have to select select then shift and then right arrow 
to select uh, the rows to select the columns up to December so select it and then you need to uh, you need to select this that is um, uh, in the transform tab you have the unpivot columns you have unpivot columns and then you have to select unpivot so here from in the transform tab you have unpivot columns so select this and then select un unpivot columns then this has introduced two new columns understand this has introduced two new columns so uh, let's rename this attribute column as month so just double click on it then rename month right then it has introduced a new column new uh, step renamed columns so once that is done once that is done yeah that is done so we have value right and then the next step is we would like to fill the uh, data types understand we would like to fill the data types so here in type column so these we first few uh, rows have the value that is but just below that you have null values understand and also if you scroll down there is forecast below forecast also null values so in order to fill this in order to fix this problem what you need to I do is uh, we have to perform this operation so select the type column then right click on this then s select the option fill down right click on this then you have the option fill and then down so this type column has only two unique values budget and then forecast so select a fill down means the below rows are filled with the same value so now filled with budget even below forecast are filled with the forecast so there are no issues with this um, table now budget and forecast and the new t new st new step has been added filled down and after that we need to check the data type right you need to check the data type so here this one so this is what is the data type it is uh, abc123 abc123 means alpha numeric if you click the if you click on the data type you can see these are the different data type supported decimal number means floating type fixed decimal so you can see the icon as dollar 123 means whole number integers and then percentage uh, date time date uh, time uh, date time zone duration is there abc means text type and this is boolean true or false then you also have binary so if it is a uh, abc alpha numeric what happened what happened it is uh, the values are aligned to towards the right side understand the values are aligned towards the right side so click on the abc123 icon and we would like to choose as fixed decimal number so change the data type as fixed decimal number now you can notice so the values are now aligned uh, uh, properly right and uh, you can see the dollar uh, icon over there and after that similarly uh, clicking on the department so let's select the department so this also added new step change your type so select the department column it is one two three so we don't want to perform any aggregation operations on the department so that's why uh, we would like to make uh, the data type as text so instead of one two three change the data type as text now the values are aligned towards the left left side so that is the one change and then, then after that uh, we want to transform the people's table right people's table but uh, we can see there are no issues with the people's table so all these are you know, properly uh, yeah, no issues right and then make sure that uh, these are the types so employee ID is ABC name is ABC so you make sure that uh, the data types are these so I don't want to make any changes over here then select task table 
select task table this one task and you look at the, if you look at the task the column names are column 1 column 2 but these are all, these are not actually the column names so the actual column names are, are the row 1 values so task id and category understand task id and category so we would like to make this task id and category as first columns so in order to do this you have to click on this use first row as header from that you have two options use first row as header or use headers as first row so we want to use select the first one use first row as headers the new step has been added so change the type one and now you have the actual column names task id and category so after that then in the navigation step in the applied areas of the query so click on the transform tab so this is done like um, if you click on the changer type changer type one you can see the error uh, so promoted headers it has promoted and change type one so you, this is what what has been done over here and after that and then what we would like to do is here um, remove this changer type one so we want to remove changer type and then um, change the data type of these columns to text type remove you can see the cross mark so remove that removed deleted and then change the data type of these are text type so they are already text type ABC ABC so no change is required next uh, so moving to the January table so go to the January table here January mm, you have the you know, check the data type of these columns so here we would like to m change the values make sure that uh, changer step is selected then click on the August category so this employee ID task ID job ID so these should all be text so these are the text type right and then importantly we have to make the changes over here or uh, this one make sure changes step step is selected okay of course we have selected and after that um, this for this hourly cast and hourly rate so you have to convert them as a um, decimal number understand hourly cast and hourly rate should be decimal fixed decimal so hourly cast here so it is fixed decimal number so replace current value then next column is hourly rate so click over here fix a decimal number replace current value done so the data types of these two have been changed next uh, so this it finishes the data transformation so we have done the changes to the data transformation right and then uh, here if you look at the data queries actually this task in the task we have task ID and category now look at the values of people in the people also there is a in people also mm, not in people so in task we have task ID and then in the January employee ID is there so t yeah here task ID is there I, I, I repeat this again so in the task table you have two columns task ID and category in, in the January table you have the task ID so only additional column in task is category so here we can go for merging these two tables on the common attribute that is task ID after that we don't require this task table okay we can do that so this is also possible merging copying and appending queries so here we were we are doing the merging operations
so there is a common attribute task id between the january table and our task table so we can merge them so this is done by using the merge query so first you need to select the january table here okay january is selected then there is an option merge queries that is uh, available in in the home tab in the home tab so you have merge queries over here you have merge queries then select a uh, merge queries understand select the merge queries yep if this is done so you have to select uh, from january table select task id and one more table merge list tasks so from the task select task id then you should select a uh, you see by default the join type is selected here left outer join so th these are the other types left outer right outer full outer inner left anti so based on the attribute based on the data uh, the power bi automatically selects the join kind and you see the selection matches 10991 of 10911 from the first table got it so that must be shown here and um, yep so that is shown and then these two tables are joined understand so these are the types of uh, joining left means all from the first table matching with the second one right means all from the second table matching with the first one similarly full means from both the table inner means only matching rows left anti means rows only in the first table right anti means rows only in the second type second uh, table so we have done with this then click on ok then click on ok so this has introduced the new column that is task understand this has introduced a new column task and then you need to click on you need to click on this so additional column task is added now you need to click on the diverging arrow on the right side right hand side of the column header then uncheck the box uncheck the box next to the task id means we do we do not want task id from task table we want only the category right so uncheck uh, this task id and then uncheck the box use original column name as prefix so just click on this diverging icon then you can see task id uncheck and then this one use original column name as a prefix so we don't want to add the prefix so click on okay then exp uh, new step has been added that is expanded task and the new column is converted the converted column is category that means the category from task is also available into the january now we do we do not require this task table i hope that is clear next uh, so disabling the loading of query so if the qu if the table is not required then you can disable them so what is the benefit over here is uh, you just save the time of the processor so why you want to have the unnecessary data so select the task query in the query pane then right click and then you have to uncheck enable load right click on the task table then you have uncheck enable load that means this table is not loaded it will ask you possible data loss so click on continue so we are not losing any data so click on continue then now you can see the name of the table is you uh, know under italic means this table is disabled next uh, you can also copy queries for example we have the data process data in the january table if you just change the uh, month then you will be getting the february month if you change the month to Mar march march then we'll be getting the march data so what we do is we just uh, make a copy of the table so right click on the copy right click on the table then copy then paste here then paste here so this duplicates uh, january 2 and uh, this duplicates january and also task because uh, in the january you have uh, got the data from task so we don't require this task too because it is also disabled we are not we no need to worry and then um, in the gear icon of merge I merge uh, query step 
in the gauge icon of merge queries tab right you select this table so there is a merge queries here so I click on here then when you click on the icon not that one you need to select um, so you can delete this task 2 task 2 and uh, don't worry too so we also require one more copy so just paste because we want to have February and March data so make a copy then it has introduced new tables January 3 and task 3 so that is done and after that what we need to do is we want to change the sources in the applied step area of the query tables you have to click on the mm, navigation step so navigation step here for this January 2 in the navigation so there is a settings icon click on that then here you need to select February then click on OK now you'll be getting the February data you can see here and rename this table before that here you know it has introduced these uh, promoted headers one change a type one and also there is an error mark here so in order to remove this what you need to do is you have to mm, what you need to do is you have to delete promoted header once and change a type one here promoted header one delete delete and then change a type one delete and then delete so that will be deleted now you can rename this table so just double click and write change the name as February so in this we have February data you can see that similarly apply the same steps on January 3 apply the same steps on January 3 so click on the navigation then select March then click on OK so this also creates a problem promoted headers problem and change the type 1 so you need to remove promoted header 1 and uh, change the type 1 so once these are removed so no issue with this table then right click or you just double click on this and change the name as March okay change the name as March so done so we have January February and March data even instead of having separate tables for these three months we can also have a single table so that is called as a um, um, no, appending queries instead of having separate tables for January March and February we can have a single uh, table so in the home tab of the ribbon so you need to have the combined section in the combined section you'll be having append queries so you need to select as append queries as next new so in the home right click on the home tab you have append queries over here you can see that then you need to select the second one append queries as new so you'll be getting this so we are joining uh, three tables so the first option doesn't work for us so you need to select the second one three or more so here this is remove this uh, or, or else you just cancel this so first January is selected then select perform this operation append queries cancel you need to select the option append queries as new select the second option three or more so January is already appended now you click on February then add then March then add so three tables are added then click on OK so we are combining the three tables and it has created a new table that is append one append one so we can rename that we can change the name of that as um, us you can also see the DAX formula here table dot combine January February March and rename this as ours so we have ours data employee work hours data so the table has been renamed to ours now so we contain all the information of January February March into the ours table then right click on each of these uh, no January February March and then uncheck enable load so first January so right click on that uncheck enable load 
so continue so the table is disabled then again right click on February uncheck enable load then also select March uncheck enable load so they are done so there are uh, no, how many uh, tables which are uh, disabled so we have task January February task 2 task 3 also there so there are totally nine queries and we need to categorize these uh, queries we need to group them as active and inactive instead of no uh, having uh, just uh, many names here we can just separate the tables into two active and inactive so that is the best option for that so in the hours table hours column if we check uh, hours so here and select hour so this is uh, this should be fixed decimal number so it is already fixed decimal number okay we it is already decimal number so we don't need to worry about that next uh, so we have to organize the queries so right click on hours table then new to group then create a new group and uh, the name of the group is active so right click on right click on the table hours table then you can see the option move to group then select new group then the dialog box the separate window will appear so name enter the name of the tape uh, group as active you can write or uh, table you can write description so the queries the queries which are active in the data model okay you can write any um, you can write something of just uh, as a description then click on ok so when you do that the separate uh, folder is created active in that our table is already moved our table is already moved next um, also select budget and forecast then move to the category budget and forecast right click then move to groups so now we have here you have active option so select active it is mode then also select people's table also select people's table and then people right click on people move to group and active so the three tables are active and these are all the inactive queries so that is in separate qu uh, group other queries so that is done and uh, next um, so after doing the data transformation you can also check the column quality distribution and profiles so in order to do that you just click on the view tab view and you have the options here like a uh, column quality for example select budget and forecast and select column quality you see uh, the valid valid 100 percent department also 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent so there are no issues with these uh, uh, tables Similarly, you can check people's table. So all are hundred percent. Error percentage is zero. Similarly, select hour. So here also the error percent is zero. And after that, you can also select a column profile. The so column profile, for example, employee ID. So this is the profile. These are the IDs, values distribution, right? So like uh, you can select any uh, table and select the column pro column profile so the profile is this what are the values and then their names for example in budget and forecast select the type so in type you have only two values budget and forecast quoted you just have two values budget and forecast you can see the count uh, and then error empty distinct values so there are only two distinct values and then minimum values budget maximum values budget so like this you can select in the value so you can select these are the values and you can also select a uh, column distribution so you have uh, the values and then how many values are distinct how many are unique like this you can select in department uh, so three distinct values similarly in type two distinct values budget and forecast so this is to check the you know quality of your data this is to check the quality of the data and you can later on you can just uncheck 
understand and later on you can uncheck so this actually finishes the transformation of your data so your data is ready and once the data is transformed then you can click on home tab and then on the top left side you have close and apply then select close and apply so then you can exit from power query editor and all the operations are applied in the background you can see the you can see that in the screen so on the screen these these steps have been done and you can check the fresh tables you can check the phrase table, budget and forecast, calendar, hours, people. So we do not have task table, January, February and months because they are disabled. So if you just click on this people's table and you can also see the table view to see the data. Understand to see the table view. You can select any table, any table, any, uh, yeah, any table, any column. You can see the data in the table view and now you can also click on model view so how many tables we have four tables so calendar budget and forecast and then people's table is there and hours table is there so we do not have a uh, relationships among these tables no common attribute and uh, no table is linked with the other table so in the next step you need to work on this understand establishing the relationship between the tables so this is uh, enough uh, in this uh, video. So if you follow up uh, our videos, you can also find uh, the, no, uh, the remaining task on the same data sets. I hope you have watched our first video, Introduction to Power BI, and this is the second video uh, on the Power BI tutorial series. Do subscribe our channel so that you'll be getting the updated uh, videos. So thanks for watching.